Okay, okay, YouTube. Uh, it is Phil's fan. I am going to do my Phillies festival recap, and um, possibly we'll show you a few other items that I've picked up over the last week or so. Um, I, I've been mostly doing TTMs. I know a lot of you have been watching my videos because uh, you enjoyed those past uh, fan packs uh, that I've done over the past few years. I haven't really been doing fan packs. Um, I'm just not as into them as I used to be. Uh, it was fun getting like the great packages, but also I tended to get a lot of uh, stuff that just, you know, was just too cumbersome and just, you know, just too much stuff that I wasn't really going to use, like posters and stickers and pencils and all those other things. So, uh, so I stopped doing the fan packs. Uh, I will occasionally send an email for a fan pack if it's something, a, a team that I really like, uh, mostly baseball, mostly into baseball. Um, or, you know, if I know I've had some success in the past and getting nice items like hats, shirts, baubles, or whatever, I'll go out and get them. Um, but this video right now is for my, uh, Phillies Festival recap. Uh, on June the 9th, which was Thursday night, from 4, to 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m., uh, the Phillies did their annual ALS Festival. And what they do is every year they have a, a you know, the whole team and all the coaches and the broadcasters are there, are available for autographs and you get an admission package. Uh, it's an admission ticket to the stadium and it includes two tickets to uh, two separate tables uh, for autographs. Each table generally will have one like major player or two two smaller players and a uh, or a coach and a player that sort of thing. Um, this year, I only bought one admission package. I was figured I'd take my chances. It was really not a whole lot of uh, players that I was super you know wanting to get, other than say like Ryan Howard or uh, Adubel Herrera. Uh, I lucked out. One of my tickets ended up being Herrera's table with Andres Blanco. Uh, I got, because uh, I didn't have a card or anything for Andres, I got him to sign a the page in, oop, I just went right by it. Uh, this is the program that they give out, and you know, when you're walking in. Uh, so I got Andres to sign my program. Really nice color photos in the uh, album, uh, uh, in the programs as usual. Um, this was a giveaway the other night. A friend of mine had gone... And it's like a giant oversized 2016 uh, Topps card of Aaron Nola. So he was another player that I was hoping to possibly get and to sign a uh, baseball that I brought. Like I brought two Rawlings official baseballs. Um, I got Herrera to sign one. Now, uh, Adubel Herrera's nickname is El Torito, which means the little bull. And he, I asked and he uh, put that on the baseball for me. He added his nickname, so which was cool. You know, not a lot of players uh, will do. Oh, that's not the ball. I'll show that one <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Didn't know which ball was which. All right, this is the Herrera ball. He added El Torito there, and there's his signature, number 37. And when we have... Uh, now, this uh, gentleman is an employee that has worked for the Phillies for, I would say, 40 five years maybe at least 40 he is their stadium announcer he's kind of like the voice of the phillies uh like non-radio voice like the voice of the phillies will, will, will always be harry callis uh god rest his soul he was a great man um but this is dan baker he's the stadium voice of the phillies he's the, the one that does the announcing uh within the stadium uh both at citizens bank park and prior at uh, veteran stadium uh, and he was very nice. I saw him there, and I walked up with my ball, and I asked him nicely if he would, if he could sign it. And he was very nice. He took his time, and he really, you know, he really like wrote out his whole name, uh, which was uh, very grateful. Um, so yeah, th this is the uh, other program that they give you. Kind of gives it's like a map of you know where to find everything, and you know what's up for the silent auctions. I've never done the silent auction, but I know of some people that have, and they've done very well. Um, but this is like you know the list of the tables and the uh, players that you would find at, at each. Uh, like I said, I was lucky and I, I got Herrera. Um, but I uh, traded my other ticket that I had for one of the broadcasting tables because I had a, I had brought a couple cards for Larry Anderson. Uh, Larry Anderson is a, a longtime major league baseball player and a real character, really nice guy. Really. He's funny. Uh, and I got him to sign a couple of cards, uh, one with him with the Red Sox, uh, from 1991 and one with him, uh, in, on an 89 tops, uh, which is one of Mike O's favorites. And it's one of mine as well. Uh, the, the design of the 89 tops. 
and you know when he was with the Astros and his uh partner uh on the uh on the TV and radio is uh this uh Scott Fransky and I got him to sign the the broadcast card. Um I bought a bunch of cards cuz you know you don't know who you're going to get. You get these uh tickets but you're not really sure until that day who it's going to be. So I brought a mess of uh mostly cards of Juan Samuel, you know, Jeremy Hellickson is with us now. Gary Matthews, former Philly, you know, so I brought a bunch of vintage and uh, fairly current cards as well. Um, the favorite part of uh, the ALS will always be for me these, the grab bags. Uh, it's a fun little item, you know, it's $20. Every year it's a different kind of bag. This year was a just a single strap backpack. Um, but you, like I say, it's $20 and it's generally an autographed item or a collection of stadium giveaways. Um, this year I didn't do real well. Um, I ended up with, I, mean, I think I kind of consolidated some of these. Uh, you know, after playing a few games, I got a couple of these, uh, gray hats, which are, uh, nice, but you know, I don't need like four of them. <laughs> um, they're actually very good hats for the summertime. I got one last year in a grab bag. Uh, this was a pretty cool item. It's a... Uh, Old school, uh, old school style Phillies uh, travel mug. That was a giveaway, I believe, last season. Um, and this is a fat head, like a smaller version of a fat head. And it was their uh, wall of fame. You know, every year they honor a player from their past. And this is like a giant collection of, of some of their better players uh, on a fat head. So uh, in this bag, uh, there was an autographed hat, and the autographed hat was from Charlie Morton. They always give a uh, player card to show you what it is, or who you know who would sign it. And um, it, you know, they always have the MLB hologram, so you can look this up on the MLB website, and it legitimizes it or authenticates rather the uh, autographed item. So. Uh, and then in, and then I got two autographed baseballs on the other ones. Um, one of the autographed baseballs uh, is another one of those hats. There's another gray hat. Uh, I got four of those hats in total. Um, this one is from Andrew Knapp. Now, Andrew Knapp is a high prospect with the Phillies. Uh, he's currently the pitcher, excuse me, catcher. He's a catching prospect. There's the hologram. And he is with the uh, Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs uh, in Allentown. Um, but he's high catching. He's a high prospect for the Phillies, so there's a lot of potential there. So that ball might be worth, you know, more than the twenty dollars I paid for the grab bag one day. Uh, now, in the final grab bag was the best item that I received, um, and no, not the other gray hat. <laughs> uh, it's another autograph ball, and it's from pitching. It's from pitcher Vince Velasquez. Uh, now, Vince pitched an 18-strikeout game at the beginning of the season. There's Vince's autograph. Uh, so I was pretty excited to get that. Um, and like I said, he's, he was a steal uh, from the Astros, I believe, or the Rangers. I'm a little confused now. I think he was picked up from the uh, Astros, actually. Um, and yeah, he and he's on yeah, he he's an Astro because I actually brought one of the cards I brought was his Bowman. Uh, in case I ended up getting uh his t autograph ticket, I was going to get him to sign one of my uh, Bowman cards I have. I got some Franco cards. Uh the only cards I got signed were the uh Larry Anderson cards. Um but here's a couple TTMs that I got recently in. Such a quick turnaround time on them. Uh Carl Scheib who is a former Philadelphia A, and this is like a 1953 Tops, but it's a replica of a 1953 Tops. And Ron Say, Ron Say um, signed this 2001 uh, reprint of his, it's a 2001 Tops Archives, but it's a reprint of his, I believe, 71, or excuse me, 73 card. And he also signed one other card for me. This is my uh, TTM slash uh, baseball card album or baseball card uh, Phillies box, uh, but it's mostly cards that I've set aside for TTM use. Um, this is a 1983 Donruss. It's a I forget what they call them Donruss large cards or action all stars or something. Uh, and he signed this. It's a it's a large card that they had sold back in 1983. Well, um, 
thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for the lighting. I got as much light in here as possible. Uh, my phone is not hasn't been doing really well when it comes to videos and pictures. Um, but thank you for watching and have a great day.